Well, you know what happened, don't you? I picked up the phone, I pushed the button on it, stopped recording. So this is going to have to be a stitch together or a part two or something of that nature. Okay, you can see there we have all our correct transmit waveforms. These ones here, I'll just uh, increase the sensitivity a little bit. But, uh, and then it's um, gone for a wander. Turn the hold around there. Come on, hold off. There we go. Okay, it's very hard to see these now because I've, uh, yep. These are the tips of the flyback pulses. So you got, um, get rid of that stuff. Yes. As soon as you touch anything on this oscilloscope, everything wants to wander. Um, there we go, turn that, gone, beautiful. I had the tracking bars up there for measurements, so don't need that at the moment, and I'll just change, there we go. What you've got is, that's on um, the three small pulses, one, two, three, that is correct, okay, they're all at the same level, and the other thing too, you know it's correct, because on the five volt pulse, the big long one, you've got the... Uh, level exactly the same as the other so the clamping circuits working uh, that just means um, it's working doesn't care less about the uh, amount of energy it's more energy in the five volt pulse longer uh, also depends on how much inductance is in the coil so if you can see on the bottom here that's your uh, first pulse there five uh, on the side of the 15 volt uh, these switch negative, so it's a negative dip. So if you actually measured this in circuit, this will be negative 15 volts in relation to ground. Negative 15 volts in relation to ground. Negative 15 volts in relation to ground. Um, the straight line there, we can say that's our ground point. Then at, after these pulses, you get the positive going, reverse uh, polarity to your um, input voltage. As the transmitter turns off, the coil goes, ah! and lets off these spikes. Um, I've just wound it up the tip of the, you know, the little dots at the top with the tip of the spikes and so forth, so forth. And it's very hard to see, but uh, there you are again. We got that uh, one for the uh, long transmit pulse. So all that's correct. That's what you want to look for. That's your waveforms. And this, that's what I mean. This big long line here, that's your uh, five volt transmit and then bang, off it goes at the end. Now, this thing's making stupid noises. So, that was short-circuited, but this isn't working still, because when I turn it on, I'll turn it off, and we'll just listen to make that uh, low tone again. Right, that says I've stuffed up the Mylar film to me. So what they've done, and I hope I hope they haven't wrecked the through plates on the um on that uh, connector there and you can see they've put some glue around it um i hope it's just hot melt glue that'll be easy to get off but i'm gonna have to remove that connector and just redo what's under there because there's something not right uh, i can probably do a continuity from the back of the board but i'll only be measuring on the pins i won't be measuring to where the pins go to on the board and it's going to be a little bit of a curly operation i don't know if um <clears throat> i really need to um video it I, I might as well because i snapped the video off and now we've got two videos out of one i just got to make sure that i don't touch the the um buttons on the phone as it'll drop the video again damn damn that happening damn but uh that's what happens Okay, get rid of our power. God. Okay, off goes that uh, mylar. Take off the uh, coil, drop it down there, and we'll just see. That is a brand new mylar, I can tell. Just looking making sure they haven't done anything crazy. Tell you what can happen. Sometimes you can get bad, I don't know if you can see that, you can get bad connections in here. 
lift this. Now what you do, you go be careful here. Don't pull it like crazy. Rock it a little bit. I'm just pulling this way, okay? Rock it a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then out you come. What I'll just do, I'll just have a quick check because this is where the problems can arise uh, in the data area of this and it can make that noise. Get some isopropyl alcohol and in the connector. Okay, on the strip a little bit. Get rid of the excess, give it a shake. Don't put too much on. It'll, if it gets into the LCD display, it'll freaking stuff it. So you know how to do that. Give it a bit of a a poke back and forth and then push down and that's locked in place after doing that because i've just done that maybe i should have enough i'll do it give it another test so we'll just listen i don't need to put the coil in for this test it'll still make that low tone and tell me that it's not working but we fixed up the transmitter stage we know that you gotta be careful too. Sometimes with what I'm doing now, um, with the pins, you can offset it one or two. It's okay at the front, it's not gonna do any damage. You do it at the back, you're gonna short out the power supply. So if it's got the pins on the back, well, this one hasn't, because it's been replaced. So let's see what happens now. Now it still makes that uh, low tone. So I know, That the problem is going to be here. It's going to be here. So, got some of the. There's some. What the hell? There's some of the th um, through plate the uh, rings on top of the board. Um, the solder lands we call them pads, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're not there. <laughs> so. I'm half, I've got it half fixed. Okay, what we'll do, we'll just reflow the pins. I'll just, when I reflow pins, I can tell the way the solder, 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 um, how it behaves to if we actually have um, metallization there. So we'll just do that and we'll find out. I just think I did that because it looks very neat. This one here's sus as. Ugh. It's got too much on it, but I don't know if it's got a broken track right next to it, but I'm going to have to strip the paint back to see that. Okay. This one here is very dicky as well. Look at this one though. This one here has been butchered. See, it's, it's, I don't know if you can see, but mm. there's the, um, the pad that's been annihilated. So maybe that is the problem because it's the data pins are around the middle. I'll just heat that up. When I do work on these, I don't usually get these type of problems because I, I don't wrench and do crazy things. Yeah, that one's butchered as well. We've got half a pad there. Okay. I'm very, very sus of that. Very sus. Anyway, I've given it a touch up. Let's see what happens. Let's get rid of any little bits of metal underneath. You know what's going to happen. Murphy's Law. So, we'll put this back on. Make sure it's not offset. Hopefully this works. Oh, I pray it works. If it makes that low tone again, I'm going to be upset. Oop. It made the low tone. Can't swear on YouTube, can you? 
Can you swear on YouTube, people? Please tell me if you can swear on YouTube. <laughs> ah, sh sugar. They put the freaking connector in backwards. I'm not joking. Right? It's in backwards. Oh, no. Okay. I have to point this out. This is freaking it's a laugh a minute in this game, I'll tell you. Um, where are we? Okay. Have a look at the connector. I don't know if you can see very well. The rounded pressure parts are on this side here. And the little flat parts are on this side. Uh, okay. But if I get this, I'll show you something. I think I know what's going on. If you look on this, the metallization is on this side. There's nothing there. It's on this side. And it goes in the board like that. And our metallization points, right, are not putting pressure onto those finger strips. Whoops. Butterfingers. Okay, have a look at that, right? It doesn't work that way. It works the other way around. You need the the bent or the half round shape uh, metallization onto the gold metallization fingers here. And it can't work like that. It has to go around like, around like that. No, can't do that, it'll blow up. Um, so that means I've got to strip the glue off, uh, which is probably a good idea because I don't like the way the, the um, pads have been uh, destroyed on the other side. So I'm gonna have to fix that up as well. And I'm gonna have to remove that and um, turn it around if I don't wreck it uh, in the process. Ah, oh, dear me. Okay, the trick to doing these right, is you know how I took the legs off the MOSFET? Um, and then I pushed it through from underneath. I pushed pushed it through, very heated up, made sure it went through really easy and very well. Um, you can do this here and drop each pin one by one. If you try and take, take this out, this uh, thing here, all in one piece, you're gonna destroy the track work. Don't do that. You're better off just heating each pin out, even getting a little um, tiny little hook, a piece of wire, very, very small piece of wire, if you bend a hook on the end, hook into those round parts and pull them up one by one as you are desoldering, right? Don't try and take it out in one piece. So anyway, um, whoever the tech was who did this, um, needs glasses more than I do. Anyway, that's that. How about, what I'll do, I'll make a part three of this. I'll, I'll turn this off and I'll do it all around and fix it up. And uh, if I see anything really weird, I'll start the video from that point so I can point it out. Otherwise, you're just gonna see this thing working. So we'll just see how it goes. Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully we can fix it. We're half there, catch up.